If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the upcoming week of Mug content. Now, if you guys have watched the channel last year, you do know that I do like to do this video every Sunday. And with the NFL season back up to date and with our regular like, weekly content back in place, I can finally start doing this video on a weekly basis once again. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing is for the week, which I think is super important for a lot of people because a lot of people don't exactly know the seasonal schedule. A lot of people don't know when things are coming up. A lot of people don't keep in touch with Twitter and other things. So this is pretty much our way of giving you guys an agenda per the week. So you can know like, okay, for a few reasons, right? You're debating selling your team. You're like, hmm, is it the time to be selling my team right now? Things coming out. You can watch this video and be like, okay, we're going to get this, 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 and that. Oh, that's a pretty big thing that's coming out. Okay, I'll sell ahead of this time. Or I could sell my team by Tuesday or Wednesday. Or I share my head-to-head -head stuff before Wednesday because there's a promo coming out on a Friday or a Thursday, and then you want to have your, you know, want to have all your stuff done, and your solo slash head-to-heads and all your stuff done before you're gonna get to a new promo and you have to go ahead and start grinding, right? But guys, before we get into the video, if you're already to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and of course, if you do need coins, check out my new sponsor down below. They have the cheapest coins on the internet, guys. Take advantage. Make sure you use my code for an extra discount at checkout. Now, first thing, in order, Monday tomorrow. I don't expect to have anything. Could Team Diamonds come a little bit early? I don't think so. I think usually big promos drop anywhere between Wednesday and Friday. It would be like on that slate of days. I don't think it would be tomorrow. So I think Monday's going to be more of a dead day. You know, pre-team of the week. Just have an idea of what's coming out. You know, one of those days. But starting Tuesday, we will get another Team of the Week drop. Now, if we do go check out how Team of the Week did go last week, guys. Pretty much identical to last year. So in terms of predictions, it was pretty easy. So I do expect I will have a Team of the Week prediction video for you guys tomorrow. Team of the Week predictions are super fun, guys. We are one... For one, all I want, all I need is one of the legends, right? And I, I feel like that's a win, right? I did predict Priest Holmes, which is pretty awesome because, again, the legend ones are almost impossible to predict. So I got, I got Priest Holmes right. So again, that that's probably the hardest one. Player of the week is pretty easy. Um, past, you know, legend LTD, uh, current LTD is pretty hard, but legend, past players, so hard. But I got one of them right. So again, those cards were, as you guys can see here, 91 overall for the legends. And the player of the week. And then the LTD, of course, is 92, which was Miles Garrett. So do expect, I don't think the overalls will actually go up this week. I think it'll probably be an identical overalls, you know, 91, 91, 92. I feel like it'll be the same thing again because it is still early in the year. Usually it'll do like two. The first team of the week should be that one overall, then they'll go up an overall. That's at least how I suspect it to go. So again, tomorrow expect some, um, you know, after today's games, I think it could be an interesting slate of games today too. Because this is week two, right? The first week, some players are rusty. You know, guys like Zeke didn't do so well. A lot of running backs didn't do well. I expect a lot of running backs to show out in week two. You know, it's been a long off season. I expect some guys like Dalvin Cook, Zeke, you know, all, all these big name running backs, Saquon's maybe, well, Saquon already played his game, right? A lot of these guys start getting back into form and that should result in some big games from some running backs, which get us some pretty good team of the week running backs, right? Maybe an LTD. Well, that'll be passed, but you get the point, right? Anyways, coming Wednesday, we will have wild card Wednesday. Now there's two ways they can go about this. We'll either be getting a power up expansion or flashbacks. Now it's pretty much Brock, you know, to talk about that power up expansion i'm not sure if they're doing it this year but last year guys one of the wild card wednesday days was power up expansion which pretty much means they would give players power up players power up cards added overalls without dropping a card for them now the thing with that is though is that for that to really take place that would mean that they would have to actually go ahead and start upgrading players and i feel like it's early in the year to where they may not have to actually go ahead and do that so i don't know if that's going to be a necessity right now so i'm not sure if they'll actually go ahead and follow with that plan but power expansion is pretty cool so like let's say they know they don't plan on giving I don't, I don't know. I just think of a player who doesn't get upgrades frequently. Imagine they just want to give him like a plus two overall right now. Like he's an 82 overall. Basically, he did pretty well the week one. They should give him like a plus one, plus two power up expansion card. Very simple. I don't know if they'll do that. They'll probably drop another flashback week. Now, flashbacks the first time were 87s and 88 overalls. So expect probably 89 and 90 overalls this time around. Similar to the rising star overalls, which again, flashbacks were good the first time. Danny, uh, Danny Dimes was the best quarterback in month for quite a while. And he still is kind of tied with Zach Wilson, except, you know, he's gunslinger now. But that speed and some other things, he's pretty close. Still pretty good. And it's already been a month, right? So that's pretty crazy. And then, of course, guys, the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday slate, I believe we'll see Team Diamonds in that place. Now, if you guys know what Team Diamonds is, like I've explained before, Team Diamonds are pretty much legends from teams. From teams, keep that in mind. Not legends from the NFL, legends from teams. Guys, That if you're a fan of that team or you follow that team, or you know that team, you know that to that fan base, this guy is, you know, heroic, he's a legend. So example, guys, let's say you're a Giants fan, for me and myself, 
Victor Cruz, Jacobs, and a few of those guys. Those are guys that, like, you know, if from the regular NFL perspective, they're not Hall of Famers. They may not even be legends. But from a Giants perspective, they were big for you. They had big moments, and you really do respect them as a player. You know, that's just one of those things, like, it's, it's like a fan favorite type of thing. So, it'll be probably under Team Affinity right here next to Team Builders. When that does drop Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday is my, again, my guess. But you'll see, you'll see it next to Team Builders. It'll be similar to this. There'll be 32 teams. Each team will get a player. If I had to suspect, probably 91 overalls, 90 or 91 overalls across the board, quite honestly, considering where we are with Legends Team of the Week. And then there'll probably be a master. Now, the master, of course, could be anyone, could be any legend from any team. Like last year we had Barry Sanders. It was pretty crazy. So I don't know. I don't know if it'll be that good again. That Barry Sanders was good for like two and a half months. But overall, Team Diamonds are going to be really cool, guys. going to be one of the more fun promos at start up the year. Not to mention, guys, uh, Team Diamonds will usually use base leads and golds. Now, if it's from that team specifically, which it usually is, that means that a lot of base leads and golds you have in your team will be like, like let's say, basically Allen Robinson or this one gold. They'll be like very, they'll be more expensive than they usually are, which should make your binder a bit more, a bit more lucrative than it usually is. So that's why I like to save a lot of elites and, you know, golds for Team Diamonds and keep my binder a little full for that stuff because you never know how much those guys can go up. Let's say you have four Bears uh, elites and five Bears golds. Altogether, they probably could have quick sold them for about 45k. When Team Diamonds drop, you could probably quick sell. You know, you could sell them on the block for maybe 70k now. Only 30k extra, guys. But that is about that's about like 40% increase on value. So let's say you had a million coins worth of Team Diamond players in your binder, and you get 40% more. They're pretty much getting 18, 8, 1.8 million now. It's almost double. You know what I mean? Like that's a lot of coins when you look at it in the grand scheme of things. So sometimes if the binder does go up like we suspect, it could be pretty good. Per, but yeah, I mean that's about it for that. That's about Team Diamonds. I mean again. It's going to be fun. We'll probably get a reveal again the night before. So whether it be Friday night, I don't think it'll be Friday though, because we have legends. So it'll probably be Wednesday or Thursday. So again, we'll probably get a reveal the day before. So whether it be Tuesday night or Wednesday night or Thursday night remains to be seen, but that should be fun. Should be a fun time, guys. Hopefully team diamonds is what it's expecting. You know, 32 players, good master and all that. And then of course, guys, we do have the LTDs that will come as well this week. Last week's LTDs were pretty good. I mean, um, they were good. The problem with LTDs this year, or in general, they're limited. They're expensive, and not everyone can afford them. So it's hard for everyone to always be hyped about them. Like, you get excited for the card itself, and then you remember the price. Like, for me, I was really excited about that Stefan Diggs. Like, I'm not excited, but I thought it was cool. I thought it was a really good route runner and stuff. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, wait, I'm not paying that price. So, like, Nick Chubb, and this is different. So last year, LTDs, for some reason, were, I don't know if it was the pull rate or the way the game was, but last year, I, they, they had to get back to this, right? In my personal opinion, LTDs like last year were just horrible. It should never be that cheap. I get it, but if everyone could get them, LTDs will lose their lose their shine. Or right? LTDs should be cards that have specific stats, right? Like a 91 Nick Chubb versus a 91, let's say Saquon. Nick Chubb may be the same overall, but Nick Chubb should get like boosted stats, like higher than a 91 typically would get, or something cool, like a, you know something on it. Because remember back in the day in the older mads, LTD cards were special. Like they just were not, they weren't built the same. And that's not the case lately, but again, this year they're kind of doing that again. They're making them pretty cool. More so the fact that this year they're making them a bit rarer, and you know, I like that. Last year, I don't know what it was. LTDs, like, they drop, and again, I know people might make the argument like, oh, but then everyone can get them, and I agree. I want everyone to get them, but the problem with everyone getting them is they lose their shine, and the times are exciting, you know? When you, when you, it, it ruins, the, what's the fun of Madden, right? Pulling a limited time is what you're aiming for. When you pull them this year, you're getting five mil, 500k to a million coins. Last year, when you pulled them, you can get like 300k. Sometimes you could pull one of the best ones and only get like 600k. This one, like the worst one right now is Nick Chubb, and you're still getting half a million coins. And if you pull up the day of like a Darren Waller, you're getting over a million. And it's been a while since LTDs have been a million, so I'm excited to see that, guys. And then, of course, Saturdays, we do have Legends. So that's going to be it for the this week's slate. That's kind of what I expect to see for this week. So most exciting things, probably Wild Card Wednesday, Team of the Week, and Team Diamonds. But yeah, guys, that's about, it. that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And, of course, any coins, head on down below and try out my new sponsor. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.